hello friends next solid of fraction of solids next object is cone now we will have its narration first of all a right circular cone of 50 mm diameter and 70 mm height is resting on one of its generator the resting element is generator here on vertical plane with the resting generator is inclined to horizontal plane by 40 degrees complete the projections okay so from the narration which come which kind of solid is there we come to know that it is a right circular cone cone is having elements basic element is the true shape of the waist that is circle and conical curved lateral surface and one apex okay and artificially the generators will be drawn will be created on its lateral periphery that we will see okay so first of all we should construct the true shape of the base that is circle on which principal plane on which principal plane it is going to rest on one of its generator that is the principal plane on which your first figure that is the circle one should construct so accordingly as it is mentioned that it is going to rest on one of its generator on vertical plane we should construct circle that is true shape of the base that is circle on vertical plane so accordingly first figure i have drawn here as a circle okay and the circle has been divided into eight equal parts you can divide it into 12 also okay now i have divided here into eight parts alphabetically anti clockwise i have given the names as it is a front view primary front view image nomenclation is with dash a dash to h dash this is the first image now how we have drawn this first sketch as good as the entire solid is resting on its base that is circular base on vertical plane so accordingly apex is towards us and base is on vertical plane okay so this is the primary front view image now accordingly as the base is on vp we are observing from top in this way downward arrow will be here all the time all the arrows will be here in front view images in downward direction in top view images images in upward direction so accordingly when we will put the downward arrow here what we will be having its sketch its image just see if the entire base is on vertical plane okay and we are observing from top that base will emerge over hrl only hrl we have drawn here xy vertical plane hp is written here so that a to h all the points will be lying over hrl itself as its top view image so accordingly all the names with the same order i have named here a b c d e f g h so entire base is now on hrl and apex is towards us in front view so naturally it will be towards the upward arrow here so o will be here and accordingly the triangle you have to complete here as its primary top view image all the generators i have shown here in case of pyramid all the lateral edges are there that's why those should be shown by continuous thick line but in case of cone as well as cylinder these lines are called as generators means what naturally the surface of cone as well as the surface of cylinder is a curved lateral surface there will not be any kind of edge formation on its lateral surface that's why these are generators artificially we have generated on its lateral surface so this is the left extreme generator ao and right extreme generator oe as these are the outside outer most points i have connected that's why we have shown by continuous thick line and but intermediate intermediate points that is b h c g and d f are supposed to be connected to the apex by continuous thin line as good as those are generators those are not the edges that's why these lines should be given by fend effect okay in this way this triangle will represent the primary top view image second image okay it is going to rest on which element that is which is that element generator it is mentioned that it is going to rest on one of its generator on vp so that generator we should take on our right hand so accordingly in case of this circle circle that e dash this point e dash o dash this generator is now will be lying over vertical plane so second image in second image that generator is here oe that's why now i have taken that 
OE on right hand. Now this OE will be well in touch with VP. In this way it will come over here. Means this entire OE this side now you have to pick in compass and initially as it is going to lie in this way. So it should be tilted like this. So E we should take somewhere here conveniently somewhere here. After that pick this distance and mark that distance here. OE I have taken here. Accordingly this triangle first of all I have picked this distance I have marked here OE. Now after that what you have to do this OA distance you have to again pick in compass. It is same. Now from O mark one arc. First arc in this way. And second arc that is EA. This distance now you have to pick in compass. And from E second arc intersecting arc to earlier one you have to get here. So intersecting point will be A. Now initially this triangle you have to make fair. After that pick all the distances. Intermediate distances of B, C, C, G and D F by compass. And transfer those distances accordingly in order. Due order on this segment A. And accordingly now you have to connect all the generators here. Okay. This is the third image that is secondary top view image. Now you have to put here upward arrow in order to give or in order to get the fourth image. So upward arrow I will pick it here in this way. Now in this direction we are going to observe in order to give the thick and dotted effect in the fourth image. So this is the third image we have finished. Now we are going to observe in upward direction. Now just see. Prior to this, what you have to do by the usual method, get all the vertical positions from third image and horizontal from first image. Intersecting points A vertical up to F vertical and O vertical and horizontally from A to H and O. All these points, intersecting points accordingly with due order, you have to name it here. Okay, and before giving any kind of dark effect, just come over here now. Now you have to observe in upward direction. Now when the observers, we all are here and we are observing in this direction, upward direction. And this is the solid now in front of us. Then naturally, this base is entire base that is A to H points are towards us. See here. Okay, so entire base is visible to us. Though it is not regularly visible as a circle, but it is a elliptical form it will be visible to us but all the points all the entire periphery is visible in a regular shape that is elliptical shape so the same I have connected here by thick effect now what about the generators now no need to create generators in top view our generators itself are representing that those are the lines which are generated on the outer periphery for the sake of construction for the sake of drawing for the sake of projection only Okay, those are not there at all, all the time. Okay, huh. so accordingly now, third image will carry, carry generators, but in case of fourth view, it is not required to show the generators. Now this figure, fourth image, with the true shape of the, sorry, with the base, it is visible to us, and all the generators, and outermost points we have connected by this triangle now, by this slant edges. The slant edges are nothing but generators in case of this cone. So accordingly this fourth image which is the secondary front view image we have finished it. Now second inclination is again with regard to that generator. Now the resting generator is inclined to HP by 40 degrees. Inclination with HP visible over VP. So accordingly this resting generator means what? OE is the resting generator. OE is here. G this generator is going to rest on VP. Here it is. OE is here. This is that generator which will be resting on VP. So OE is here now. This generator is here. And the same generator OE is here in secondary front image. Now this line that is OE, it should be tilted by 40 degrees in fifth image which is the actual front image. So now what you have to do? By usual method, you have to circumscribe this fourth image first of all in A, B, C, D rectangle in this way we know how to circumscribe by the earlier method you have to complete you have to finish this rectangle ABCD capital ABCD I have marked it here now pick it here from here and place the entire figure here in such a way that this OE should carry 40 degree inclination so initially what I have done I have 
drawn one line at an angle of 40 degrees okay at any distance conveniently i have drawn here after that pick the length of this rectangle and transfer it on this line i am transferring the length so naturally this length as it is parallel to this resting generator oe it will be again tilted by the same degree which is mentioned in the narration that is 40 degree so naturally this image will carry 40 degree inclination to that generator so accordingly this is the front view image all the names i have given here by the same order there will not be any kind of change okay in the nomenclation it will remain same only orientation that is inclination will be changed by 40 degree now this is the actual front image now the same we have to observe from top in order to get its last image that is actual top image this is the as per narration actual front image i have got here now the, we are going to get actual top image here how to get then again by the same method get first of all all the vertical positions from the fifth image and from the fourth image horizontal positions and intersecting points a vertical a horizontal up to h vertical h horizontal o vertical horizontal name accordingly all the points after that this arrow will help us to give its thick and dotted effect now while observing from top the base some of the portion of the base that is circumference will not be visible to the observer while observing from top containing this point c so accordingly just see here c and d these points are intermediate points okay those are not on the outer periphery so first of all what do you have to do outermost points you have to connect by thick line in this way and this periphery which is not which is hidden which is not visible to the observer from while observer from top so this much portion some of the periphery will not be visible so naturally starting from a up to this e this much periphery will not be visible so it should be shown by dotted line in this way and this is nothing but the actual top view image so this is the last set as per our narration that is we have in this way we have completed the provision of this right circular cone with front image with top image okay